get your new pen. Today I'm here at St. Mary's Children's Hospital, uh, a place where I serve on the board, but at the same time, uh, a place where I come for inspiration because these young people here are so amazing. And, you know, I thought this was the perfect place to come and display, you know, my poetry book that I was inspired to write by some of the young people here. The title is Neon Aliens Ate My Homework. Now I'm going to tell you guys a little story before I read the poem. This was actually a true story. I honestly went to my school teacher the day I didn't have my homework and told her that I was abducted by aliens and that's why I didn't have the homework. They still wanted something to eat. So I took out my totally finished algebra worksheet. That did the trick and they sent me home without a warning. When I got back, it was eight o'clock the next morning. I just came as surprised to pick up my daughter from school because she usually gets on the school bus. So when I came to pick her up, they told me he was here. Oh yes, he was clapping the whole way here. She just hears his voice and she's happy. And that's all that matters is that they're excited. L-O-V-E, it's all about me and you dancing, having a good time, uh, putting our hands above because we know it's all about one love. Yeah! There we go! I relate to these kids on so many different levels. Obviously, uh, even as a young person having struggled uh, with reading and, and my own learning disabilities but and to overcome those obstacles. But then, you know, myself as a creative. Alien invasions are common in this nation, and so are kids with fantastic imaginations. Thank you.